Good morning, Wally. Good morning, Dave. How are you today? I am good. We are here for another episode of Roofing Away, Dave and Wally. Yes. So, other episodes, we've talked about all kinds of systems. We've talked mechanically attached, Rhino Bond, adhered systems. This is one system we really haven't spent a lot of time on. What are we going to go over today? This is EverGuard SA. So, what does SA stand for? Self adhered. So, basically, mm -hmm. the adhesive is already installed on the back of the sheet. Correct. Why is it an advantage for a contractor? Well, it's an advantage for a contractor on either a small job or a really big job. Anything that's wide open. The whole thing with, with SA is speed. The faster it goes down, the quicker you're off the job, the more money you make. And you get more at the end of the year. Exactly. So mm -hmm. adhesive is already stuck on the back of the sheet. So the contractor doesn't have to get any bucket adhesive, any type of spray adhesive. It's already installed, correct? Well, and the nice thing too is you don't need a primer. On the deck. On the deck itself. Right. right. On a wall, you would which prime we're going to go over right. Right, on, on how to do walls, different, right. different ways to do walls. But you don't need a primer, which is huge because now you do away with the buckets. Well, how does this roll come? Is there, is there standard widths, your millages? What does it come in? There's different millages and different widths. Is this the end-all cure-all for any type of roof? I don't believe that there's one system that's right for every roof, every building. So this is just kind of another bullet in the contractor's gun if he's looking at bidding a job. But Correct. like you said, it has its limitations like every system, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like if you're doing a restaurant with a lot of units on it, it's probably not the ideal. No, because now you have to cut everything around and it's just a pain. You know, with, with the different widths that are available, if you are doing a large or small roof and you come to an area that maybe has a few units, you don't have to always use the biggest sheet. You might want to use a smaller sheet to get between the units right. and then flop your, your ends into the units. So that's something a contractor needs to look at when he's looking at a job. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's different ways to, to lay this up. You know, residential roofers are, you know, they're familiar with ice and water shield. Basically, that's kind of what this is laid out. A giant piece of ice and water shield. It has a split release liner on it, correct? So if we peel this back a little bit. Well, I, yeah. We can kind of see it here. One edge is going to have. Right. Well, there's no adhesive. Correct. So you can actually weld to the next piece underneath. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it, which gives you superior watertight properties. Here is your split. split. So right. you're not trying to pull off a 10 or no, how, no, no, how no, wide no. it is, trying to pull that whole thing off. The whole thing with this is you want a butterfly. Right. Hence why it's it's split in the middle. So on the other option too, how much are we lapping on this seam? Two inches. Two inches. So on our line, we have a three inch line and a six inch line, correct? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to kind of butt up to the, the, two in, the three inch line. Yeah. And then we, we're going to allow two inches to actually weld down the sheet. Right. And you know our, our uh, weld window is an inch to inch and a half. So we've got plenty of room to play plenty with. Plenty of room, yeah. yeah. So basically, once you get them kicked out to length, kind of pull this side back. Yes. And you'd pull the other side back also. Yep. Pull it back to the release line where it's split. Right there it is. Right there. And then you would pull this side back. Kind of like butterfly we do it here. When you Absolutely. do the bucket adhesive with the yes. spray adhesive, yes. it's the same thing. Yes. Except now... You're eliminating the adhesive. You're eliminating the adhesive, and all you have to do is grab the release liner, pull it, and then keeping a rounded edge, you put it in. So if you're going to do this, remember we have our salvage edge on this side. Correct. Which one of these would go in first? <laughs> so a lot I, of guys make mistakes. They do. Yeah. Obviously, the weld goes on top, so this side, so this go side goes in first. So if you could visualize, you got a bunch of these laid out. This is typically how guys are going to lay them out, a good butterfly them. Pull the release liner, roll it in, weld it, you're done. Right. And you always pull the sheet that you're pull it, putting in. You don't pre-pull your liners. Right. Exactly. 